Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to review the brand new Amazfit T-Rex 2 smartwatch. We will be seeing what we have in the box, the design, what materials it is made of, and what options we have in the software. We will run some tests and try some of the measurements and see if this watch is worth buying. In the next video, we'll see how to connect with Android and iOS, which app it uses, and what options we have in these apps. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately with the new Huawei Watch Fit 2. Here we have the box, so let's unwrap it and have a look at what's inside. On the box, we can see some of the specifications and features that the watch has. As you can see in the box we have the watch, and you can see it's a really beautiful compact watch and light and easy to use. The Amazfit T-Rex 2 has a lot going for it, it's a rugged outdoors watch, with dual-band GPS technology, an AMOLED touchscreen, 150-plus sports modes and impressive battery life, all for around $200. Out of the box, it looks and feels like an adventure watch, it's bulky, it's waterproof and it has a number of features designed to get you through all of your escapades in the great outdoors. This watch is ranked one of the best for outdoor activities. Right in the beginning the watch is starting, we have to choose a language and immediately connect it which we will see in the next video. Swipe down we have the taskbar with the first option being the flashlight. Next we have the screen duration. We have here the percentage of battery and the power saving mode. After that we see, do not disturb. Alarm is in the next position. Compass which we have to calibrate first. Lock screen is another option to mention, to deactivate it you have to long press the power button. Next we have brightness and auto brightness. And the last option is settings. If you swipe right you'll have the menu with the first option PAI with all week data. Next stands workout, one of the best things in this watch, we have here, outdoor walking, running, treadmill, track run, outdoor cycling, pool swim, open water swim, climbing, hiking, triathlon, multi-sport, golf, skiing, jump rope and also in the end we have more options where you can find sport that we don't have in the first page. Let's get back to the menu where we see workout history with time, date, what sports we did and if you click one you will see a lot more information for that workout like the route that you did measured with GPS, heart rate and speed charts etc. Workout status is similar to the last option. Next we have one tap measuring where we can use all the health options at the same time. Now we have the health options one by one starting with heart rate where we can measure just the heart rate and we will see all the statistics and charts for our heart. Same with blood oxygen again we have all the data and charts with percentage of oxygen in our blood. Again we have the same options for stress, the charts for it, the last measurements etc. At the activities we can see what we did for today like the steps and fat burn time, standing time etc. Here in sleep we can monitor our sleep throughout the night and all the charts for deep sleep or light sleep. Next we have the compass that we saw in the beginning. Let's calibrate it first and see how it works. To calibrate the compass you have to rotate the watch like it says in the watch itself. After we do that we can see the direction and other things that are necessary for the compass. After that we have the barometer which is very useful for outdoor activities like the compass. Here we have the air pressure and altitude that we can check for our safety if we are climbing somewhere. Here we have weather for the next option where we can see the weather for the whole week just like on the phone. Next we have the music where we can see that we have all the control for it in the watch, starting with volume, play next or the song before and pause play. Here I more we can find a lot of good things like, real-time heart rate, sun and moon where it shows with time when it's the sunrise and when it's sunset, next we have cycle tracking for the ladies, breath option, stopwatch and countdown, find my phone which helps you find your phone in case you lost it. 
Next, we have the world clock, to do list here we can add as many things that we have to do in a day, a Pomodoro timer and in the end we have the camera remote. Back in the settings to see a lot more options starting with watch faces and time. Here we have a few watch faces that are already downloaded. We also can download a lot more in the app, more in the next video. In time format we can choose between 12 or 24 hour time and same with date we can choose how we like. In display we can find brightness. Screen on duration, always on display where we can customize a few things, we can change the style of the always on display, we can put a schedule when to turn on and off or turn it off completely to save battery. Next is wake on wrist rice where we can turn it on with sensitive motion where as soon as you lift your hand it will turn the watch on. Again we can schedule this option too. Here in theme style we can choose the theme of icons so you can put which one you like most. Screen on upon notification is another option that you can turn off if you don't want to use it. And the last one is wake during a workout which will make the watch stay awake. Let's get back here we have sound and vibration where we can see vibrate for alert, buzzer senses and buzzer intensity. After that we have workout where the first option is workout detect and you can select which sport you want the watch to detect and next to that is the alert option to let you know that the watch found a sport. If we go back we can see the GPS where we can control the power of it, if we want to be very accurate or we want to save power but the GPS will not be the same so it's better to let it in the balance mode. Back in the settings we have preference where we can customize a lot of things starting with do not disturb where we can schedule date and time for it. Off. Wrist lock is a good option to have it lock the watch when you're not wearing it. In quick startup we can customize the buttons to a specific workout or anything in the watch. In the app list we can change the order of the options in the menu. In the control center we can change the order and also add or remove stuff from the options in the taskbar that we saw in the beginning of the video. The last two options are language and automatic low temperature mode. And in the system we have information about the watch and we can turn it off, restart it or even reset to factory reset. For the end we want to test the health measuring stuff and let's start with one tap measurement. We can see information for heart rate, stress, blood oxygen, and breath test. Now let's try these options one by one. So, this is pretty much it for the watch. I really enjoyed reviewing this model and it's a really great watch so I really liked it. It's really easy to use, pretty fast, and has everything you would want in a watch. In the next video, we will see how to connect it with Android and iOS, which apps it uses, and what options we have in these apps, so stay tuned for that. So, guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video with another smart device.